Well, right here at WJC, we continue to celebrate my co-anchor, Denise Koch, who tonight we are marking her 40 years here at WJZ, and now we have a look back at some of the biggest stories she's covered internationally. Do you hope that people in other villages follow your example and also set up schools like this? She says that they hope that all villages will be able to do this one day. Because that was 1990 when I went with a group of Baltimore black and Jewish teenagers, first to Senegal, then Israel, learning about common roots in their communities. It was a fantastic experience. Um, in 1989, I was in Shaman, China, our sister city, with a group of Baltimore teachers who traveled there to teach Chinese teachers English. And in 88, even going earlier, we were in Jamaica. As the crack cocaine epidemic was raging here in Baltimore, we discovered a connection between the posses controlling the markets there and the neighborhoods in that country. Extraordinary experiences, life-changing experiences. I was extremely grateful to be able to have. Shortly after that, you arrived. <laughs> <All> that, <laughs> but this right, predates right. you. Uh, yeah, for sure. But you know, one of the things I've no noticed you know, in, in covering stories internationally, it gives us much better perspective when we sit here at this desk. And we talk about these locations because we've been there, we've seen them. Absolutely. Right? And the young teenagers who went to Africa, I remember when I was over there, I said to them, So do you feel more African? Actually, no, we feel more American. They mm -hmm. themselves realize going to these root cultures mm -hmm. that they're American kids. Wow, 40 years. It's a long time. It Congratulations. Is. So happy for you. And of course, we're all glad you're here. Right? Well, thank you, Vic. I'm <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs>